It's Thursday and we're back in the back seat again. Uh, well, so far, I've done like a whole month of these uh, talking from my back seat uh, videos. And uh, no neighbors have come up and started asking me, what are you doing out there every Thursday uh, in your car? So either they're not noticing, which is cool, or they're, uh, they don't just don't want to know what's going on. Either way. Well, it is the uh, finish of the first week of February. And my thoughts have already started drifting towards lawn work, lawn care, cutting the grass, taking care of flower beds, trimming trees back, things like that. And I'm facing a little bit of a dilemma. My dilemma is, is that my trusted Husqvarna mower may be facing some issues. Um, the end of the last year, started running really rough like um, it felt like something was out of balance I checked the blade and the blades fine it's not out of balance I sharpen it about it every other time I cut just with a little Dremel thing there nothing serious just to put some edge on it so it cuts the grass instead of tearing it and uh, so then is either something internal or there's something to do with the air fuel mixture and it's just making it run rough and so I thought, well, do I want to dig into that motor and find out what's wrong with it? Or do I just want to get a new lawnmower? And I went and looked at lawnmowers that have the motor that I like, which is the Honda GCV 160 or 190. 190 is a little bit more power, but the 160 is what I got now. It's an overhead cam, uh, single cylinder, four stroke gasoline motor. It's very quiet. It has a lot of torque. And it cuts the grass really good. It doesn't bog down when it's thick. So it's a good it's a good engine, but something's obviously wrong with the one I've got now. So I go to look for the Husqvarna model that's exactly like the one I have now with the exact same engine. And I don't think they make it anymore. I like the big high wheels in the back, and I like that motor, and I like the Husqvarna deck because the wheels, instead of just being bolted on, They've actually got some bearings in there, so it rolls very smooth and very easy. And the deck is, everything is very light about that mower. The engine, the deck, everything, it's real light and easy to push. I don't really want a self-propelled mower because those are heavy. And, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of helping myself out by pushing it myself instead of having it pulling me. Um, <clears throat> so my options are, do I get a different brand if I do get a new mower? And if I do that, I'm not, I don't really don't want to spend more than 300 bucks. I looked at the Honda mowers, and those things are doggone expensive. Uh, I looked at Toro. I looked at Briggs, not Briggs and Stratton, some other brand, Craftsman, I think it was. And they had the engine, and they had the high back wheels, but I don't know about the axles, you know, whether the wheels have got bearings on them. Um, so now I'm thinking, maybe I'll just get me a new motor and... And it's not that hard to swap out a motor on a lawnmower deck. You just take the old one off, put the new one on. Uh, they're running, you know, anywhere from 110 all the way up to 150. You know, so that's not too bad. But I'm also thinking maybe I should just look into seeing what's exactly wrong with that mower. Like I said, I'm not going to tear it completely apart, but we'll find out what the deal is. <laughs> so that's my big dilemma for the upcoming spring season of lawn care. And we'll probably talk more about lawn cares as these Thursday backseat talks go forward. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to go inside and play guitar for a little bit. Uh, and uh, I've been listening to a lot of Alice and Krauss, so I may just play acoustic guitar all day today. Hey, y'all have a good uh, weekend. Friday. Friday's kind of almost like a weekend nowadays. So... I will see you all next Thursday, and uh, if I come to a decision on that mower, I'll let you all know.